Once you know the basics of Excel, there are a few formulas that can help you find data that may be nested in other tabs of your sheet. Learning these formulas can help you fill in missing values and search for data without having to filter and sort. The first formula we're going to look at is VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP allows you to find the corresponding values based on a single unique identifier. This will make more sense when we take a look at it in action. In this example, we're going to pretend that we have access to the order sheet of a small jewelry company. This company's ordering software is a bit of a mess, and it doesn't compile prices with each item ordered on the back end. Instead of searching for each item number and then inputting the price for that item, we can use a VLOOKUP to quickly insert that value for us. In this case, our unique identifier is the product ID, which is found in the columns B, D, F, and H, representing the items that a customer purchased. If we look at the price list tab, you'll see that the prices are listed for each of these product numbers. We don't want to manually search for each of these values and insert them into the order sheet. So this is where VLOOKUP comes in handy. The VLOOKUP formula asks for four pieces of information. First, what is the unique identifier I'm looking for? Where do I need to look for that unique identifier? What column number do you want me to report back to you based on the data you've selected? And then do you need an exact match or not? For VLOOKUP, the unique identifier needs to be in the leftmost column of the data you're searching to return a value. To get a price from this information, my formula would be search for the order number in the price list sheet columns A to B, then return the value in the second column, and I do need an exact value. The formula then returns the value of product N24. Let's go back real quick and verify that the price matches on the price list. And look, it does. Now we can drag this formula down all the way for all of the prices so that the first order item for each customer is filled in. Now I want to do this for the other prices when people have ordered more than one item. Notice the error I get when I copy and paste the formula. We didn't do anything wrong. In Excel, if you copy and paste a formula, it automatically adjusts the cell values for however much you moved from the original formula. So in the force formula, I asked the VLOOKUP to look at cell B2. And if you look, now it's changed the formula to looking at cell D2. In this case, that's actually helpful because this is the cell I want it to look for for my unique identifier. The issue with this formula is that it's now looking at columns C and D in the price list sheet for the unique identifier and there's no data there that will match. To hold the cells so the columns don't change, insert the dollar sign to lock the columns and then you won't have this error occur. I'm just gonna drag this formula down a couple of rows. Look at what happens at row eight when the customer didn't order a second product. I get an error. And I should get an error because there's no unique identifier there. I can then modify my VLOOKUP formula to include instructions about what to do if there is an error. The if error formula tells Excel to do a certain thing, in this case, the VLOOKUP, and if there's a problem with that formula, return a specific value. In this case, I'm gonna put zero because there's no cost if an item was not ordered. Now, the price will return as zero. You could also choose to leave the value blank if you wanted. Now I'll go through and complete the formulas for the other orders in the order sheet. The next thing I wanna do is find the total amount charged for the order. For that, I'll use the sum formula and tell Excel to sum the values in columns C, E, G, and I. Now I have all the prices and the total amount for each order. Looking back at the by person tab on the spreadsheet, I can import the order total for each person using the order number as a unique identifier and then having VLOOKUP search the order tab now that I've got the total cost of the order. The formula I'd use here is VLOOKUP B2, because that's my unique identifier, and then go over to the order sheet and highlight all of the data, starting with the order number and going all the way to the total order amount column, which in this case is column J. Now I need to tell it which column to pick from. So I need to count. I go from A to J, and that is 10. So I put the number 10 to tell my formula to look in the 10th column of that selection. Then I put false because I do want an exact value. Now my formula has given me the total amount of the invoice for that person. VLOOKUP works when your unique identifier is all the way at the left of the data you want to search. But let's look at a situation where that's not the case. 
Again, we're pretending we have some pretty terrible billing software. And if we look at the orders tab, look at column K, and it says who to send to. That column is asking me to find the person for which this order should be sent to. And that is in the by person tab. I can still use order number as the unique identifier, but in the case of the by person tab, that information is on the right, not the left of the information I'd like returned, the person's full name. There's two options when your data is ordered this way. The first option is to use the X lookup function. In this function, you tell Excel to look for a unique identifier, where you should find that unique identifier in another sheet, and then the column that you want the data returned to that is linked to that unique identifier. In this case, I'm telling Excel to look up the order number, then go to the by person sheet and look up that order number in column B and return to me the information from it that matches in column A. And you'll see the person who ordered that is returned. I can then fill that formula down to get the person whose order belongs to each order number. A more complex formula that can get you this information and perhaps impress your boss is the index match function. For index match to work, I need to tell Excel the information I need, which in this case is the person's name or column A in the by person tab. And then I need Excel to match that data. For the match function, I say, what is the order number or the unique identifier I need it to find? Where do I find that unique identifier in the sheet that has the data I want, which is by person column B? Then I put false to say I want an exact value, and the one is needed for the index function. When I hit enter, the person whose name goes with that order is returned. This may seem a little complicated, but it is really helpful when your data is not structured in columns the way you need it to be for VLOOKUP, and it saves you from having to edit and move your data around in your sheet. Knowing these formulas to help you fill in data can make moving on to the analysis portion of your data work go much more quickly.